Jess here with Blush Jess. Thank you so much for watching. I haven't talked to you guys in a while. Um, I know you guys have been seeing like some previously recorded vlogs, but it's been a few days since I got to talk to you. So I am excited to vlog today. Today is Tuesday. We've had a very nice weekend. Um, I'm going to try to catch you up on everything that's been going on. So David's mom and dad came into town. We had a really nice weekend. The weather was beautiful. Still a little chilly, but the sun was shining. It was so nice to have some um, like really nice weather after all the cold that we've had. Of course, today it's rainy, yucky, nasty outside. So I'm glad it was pretty when they were here. But you guys, welcome. It's so nice to have you and see you back. Um, if you haven't subscribed, we'd love to have you subscribe so you can get notified when we post a new video. I vlog, not vlog, but I put up a new video just about every single day. So we always have a lot of fun together. Um, yesterday I took Nate to the dentist. So if you are new, Nate is nine, he has autism and he is amazing. One of our hardest struggles though has been going to the dentist. It's very scary for him. Like just people putting their fingers in his mouth and the tools and the loud sounds. And, um, over the years, him growing up, the dentist has been kind of a scary place. Um, you know, through no fault of the dentist we went to. They were all really, really nice and wonderful with him. But a lot of times it would end up like we would have to hold him down so they could get a good look in his mouth just to make sure like everything was, you know, okay and to clean it and stuff, to put the fluoride on his teeth. And so every time we would go to the dentist, the fear would get worse and worse and worse because we would have to hold him down, like pry his mouth open. Well, when we moved here to Indiana, I found this amazing dentist and made an appointment for him and Lucy. I vlogged that day. So you guys may have already heard the story, so I won't go into grand detail, but basically Nate said, we even wouldn't, he wouldn't even get in the chair. He had a complete and utter meltdown. <laughs> they were like moving patients to other parts of the dentist office because of how loud and crazy and upset he was. Um, the dentist was so sweet and he was like, okay, you know what? Let's just stop. We're not going to do it a dental thing today. Like, let's just stop and let's talk. And so he brought us to a different part of the dentist office and we kind of told him about Nate and his previous experience of the dentist and how scary he, it was for him. And so we made a plan. This dentist was so wonderful and said, we're going to really work with you guys and we're going to see if this will work. And he said, I have some patients I do this with and they come in every single month to the dentist and our plan is just to get a little bit further each time. So maybe the first day they get in the chair. <laughs> maybe the second visit, you know, they let us like brush a couple teeth. Maybe the third visit, you know, we get a few more and we're just going to go slow. But the, but the goal is that when we have these positive dental experiences, it reinforces a positive experience instead of a negative experience. And every time gets a little bit better. So that was our plan back in I remember October or something when we went and we've been going pretty much every month. I think this is only our third time to go. We got a little bit off track with um, Christmas. It kind of threw us back a little bit. Um, and then they had to cancel one time because of their office having to close unexpectedly. But mostly we've been about every month and it was time for us to go again this past Monday. And we hadn't been since before Christmas. And so I was a little bit unsure about how it was going to go. I woke up to take him to the dentist and I had the worst migraine I have had in a very long time. I get migraines. I know some of you get them too. They are from the devil. They are horrible. Um, I was trying to like get the kids ready for school, get him ready for the dentist and I could not function. I was literally like writhing around, like laying my head on the bed, trying to put ice on it, like trying to take, I do have a prescription that usually like completely kicks it out. Um, it's called Sumatriptan. I love this stuff, but for some reason it did nothing this day. And I knew that I wanted to be the one to take him to the dentist because I've been the one to take him each time. And this whole thing with Nate is about like routine, expecting the same thing every time. And like we have the same dental hygienist every time. We have the same room every time. And so I wanted to be the one to take him. David could have done it, but I just really wanted to be the one to take him 
when Nate is in like new situations, he usually does a lot better for me. He probably would have been fine with David, but I really wanted to push through and take him. So I did. I pushed through. I was in so much pain all the way. It's like 30 minutes away, all the way there, all the way during the appointment, all the way back. But I was like, I've got to do this. So I like pushed myself. Um, it was almost impossible, y'all. I was sitting there with Nate at the dentist like this, like holding my head the whole time. But Nate did so good. You guys. I was like about in tears, number one, for the migraine I was having, but the second one is because I was so happy with him. He sat in the chair. He, They have like a TV that they can watch on the ceiling, and so he sat there and he watched Encanto. I said, if you put on Encanto, he really likes that. And so he was listening to that. He was singing along. Um, they ended up, she said, last time we were able to clean the first like couple of teeth, like two or three teeth in the front. She said, I'd really like to see how far we can go back with him. He let her clean what she said to the premolars. So not all the way back to the molars, but along the side of his teeth, he let her clean. Now, when I say let her clean, it wasn't like he was like this. And perfectly still. He still was like trying to put his hands in his mouth a little and like kept grabbing her hand and like wanting to pull it off. And sometimes she would let him hold the little um, toothbrush cleaner thing, you know, that really loud. <laughs> Every time she put it to his teeth, he would kind of jump because it's really loud. Um, he didn't really like the taste. You know, we were trying to like pick out the flavor that he would want. And none of them really sounded like something he would want. Um, but he did so good. Like I can see the progress each time. It's baby steps. It is literally baby steps. Um, and then this is the best part. The dentist comes in and the last time we were there, they didn't even do a dental exam with the dentist because he had done so much better. He just was like, let's leave it at a positive st <laughs> stopping point here. But today he wanted to get a good look or yesterday. And so he let Nate hold that little mirror thing like out from his mouth. And we just had him say, ah, a bunch of times. And the dentist kept moving his hand and got a really good look at all of his teeth. He even put gloves on and like felt around his teeth. And Nate let him do that. This dentist is like so chill and amazing with Nate. I mean, he's a younger guy, um, probably around David's age or so. And he's just like, chill, like, okay, you do this. You want to hold this? Okay, let's look here. Oh, you're doing great. You know, he's very just chill, easy going. And I was just bragging on Nate the whole way home. We stopped. We got him a, a special snack. You guys may know what he picked out. He picked out these Doritos. We still have a little bit left over here. And I just like tried to make it a very positive experience. And we were leaving Walmart where we got the Doritos before I took him back to school. And I said, Nate, this is how I have to phrase stuff with Nate. I said, do you like the dentist? Yes. Or do you like the dentist? No. Um, I know that doesn't really make sense unless you're around Nate a lot, but he has a hard time. If I just say, do you like the dentist? Um, I don't know. For him, that's sometimes hard. It's like a big open-ended question. But if I say, do you like the dentist? Yes. Or do you like the dentist? No. It gives him more of a clear response. I don't know. That, I know that sounds weird. That's just how I have to ask Nate stuff. And I said, do you like the dentist? Yes. Do you like the dentist? No. And he said, I like the dentist. Yes. And I was so happy because it's been such a struggle. <laughs> it's been a struggle for us. So we go back in March and I'm hoping that each and every time it gets a little bit better. And you guys, if you have kids that do not like the dentist, I know even not like, you know, not special needs kids, but just like, you know, what do they call them? Um, typical, not special needs children. Um, I can't think of the word. <laughs> not normal. That's what I'm trying to say. I don't want to say normal, not normal kids, but you know what I'm talking about. If you have typical children, some people still don't like the dentist. Some kids still don't like the dentist. And so what I would recommend is just try to find someone who is patient and that will work with your kids because this has really helped Nate this like little bit at a time getting better and better. He knows what to expect. He knows that nobody's going to hold him down and force, you know, 
him to open his mouth. It's all about like him kind of leading the way and us encouraging him with lots of praise. And it's wonderful. And I've been talking to you guys like 10 minutes about this, but I'm so excited. So let me now move on and tell you what my plan is for the day. It's already afternoon. It's like 1230 right now. I just laid Mark down for a nap. Um, it's a rainy day. We've just been kind of hanging out, playing, playing in Mark's room, looking at books, that kind of thing. So he's taking a nap. I was supposed to make dinner for a friend that's had a baby from our church. And um, I got a call from the lady that's like um, planning out like who's bringing their, their meals when. And she was like, they are inundated, inundated, inundated with food. <laughs> She's like, they need a break. They, there's been so many people like back to back bringing them meals, which is amazing. Um, they were like, please, like we just need a few days break. So I am just going to kind of switch things around. I was supposed to make them dinner tonight, which is Tuesday, and then also Friday night. Tonight, I was going to make chicken enchiladas, and on Friday night, I was going to make chicken pot pie. I'm going to switch those two because we just had chicken enchiladas like a couple days ago, and I, I, my chicken enchilada recipe is like a tried and true. I think that I would feel a little more comfortable bringing them that on Friday because I know it's like delicious and everything. This chicken pot pie recipe I was gonna try is brand new. So what I think I'm gonna do is make it for us for dinner tonight. And I'm gonna kind of show you guys how I do it. It looks like the simplest recipe ever. If this works out, it's gonna be really great to be able to bring people a meal, have a quick dinner. Um, I, I have my own chicken pot pie recipe. I think I have a video on it. I'll link that below. That one is more involved, like it's not hard, but you know, you're chopping up veggies and all of this and you're like making the sauce from scratch. It's a little more involved and it takes me a little while to make just one, which only feeds like three or four people and they needed me to feed six. So I looked up this recipe for like a chicken pot pie casserole because it, it was more like suited for that kind of crowd. So I'm gonna go ahead and just make us that big casserole and then we can have leftovers throughout the week just to kind of test out the recipe. So stay tuned. When I cook dinner tonight, I'm gonna show you guys how I do it. Literally uses very simple ingredients and it looks good on Pinterest is where I found it. I cooked up all the chicken yesterday in my crock pot and like chopped everything up, uh, like all the chicken up and then the rest of it's just like kind of combining stuff and putting it together in a casserole dish. So I'm gonna do that and then on Friday, I will make them chicken enchiladas, which I also have a recipe for and I will link down below. But that's kind of what I'm thinking right now. I need to get in the office. I've got some videos to edit. I took off um, this weekend and it was so lovely. I went shopping by myself on Saturday, went to um, Burke's and where else did I go? I went to Walmart and I also went to the library. That was wonderful. Nobody wanted to go with me. They all were happy to just play with Grammy and Grandpa. So it was nice. And then on Friday night, me and David got to go on a date night. We went and saw Marry Me. And we also went to this new Italian restaurant that just opened in our town. It was so good. Both of those were so good. So the Italian restaurant it was so good, but it used to be a Mexican restaurant. We have so many Mexican restaurants here, y'all. It's it's crazy. We have so many. But this one moved locations. And so a lot of the people that worked there were like Hispanic, but it was an Italian place. But the food was so good. I got this tricolor spinach tortellini with like an Alfredo sauce and it had like peas in there, which I really like that. Kind of adds like a little freshness to the Alfredo. The best Alfredo sauce I think I've ever had. It was so good. David got chicken parmesan. We both loved it. And then we went to see Marry Me, which I know it's on Peacock. You can watch it for free. But I have not been to a theater since I, like before I was pregnant or right around the time I was pregnant with Mark. I haven't been at all. And I love going to the theater. I really wanted to see this movie. We loved the movie. I mean, it's a typical rom-com. It's a J-Lo rom-com which I love her movies like that. Um, Wedding Planner is still one of my favorite movies. And um, we were the only people in the whole theater. It was It's a very small old theater that we have here. And it was so nice. We were just able to like chat and like talk as loud as we want or whatever. We loved the movie. It was so clean. I did not hear any 
um, you know, bad words at all, curse words at all. There was no inappropriate sex scenes or anything like that that sometimes that makes me uncomfortable, you know, and um, it was just a really good movie. So if you have Peacock, you can stream it for free. I thought it was really, really cute. It was a really cute movie. So anyway, I need to go finish some editing. And then when the kids get home and all that, I'll kind of start getting dinner together. Um, I'm hoping to go to the gym tonight, but we'll see. Anyway, I've chatted to you guys long enough, but I know you guys pray about the dentist with Nate. I've gotten a lot of comments like, have y'all gone to the dentist yet? I'm praying. So I wanted to give you the update. I wanted to vlog yesterday, but I was in no position. I got home from the dentist after I took Nate back to school. I took like Tylenol PM. I was hoping if I could just knock myself out, it would kind of like feel better, which happens sometimes with some of my migraines. David was home with Mark because he's off on Mondays and I just slept for hours and hours throughout the day. And by the time the kids got home, it was feeling a little bit better, but it was a rough day. So wanted to update you guys on that. Come back soon. <laughs> I'll be, I will be back soon. It'll seem like a second for y'all and we'll cook chicken pot pie the really easy way. <laughs> Let's hope it turns out. Um, but it's good that I get to test this recipe before bringing it to someone. So let me know in the comments, did you have people bring you meals after you had a baby? I think that is so helpful. I never, I don't think anybody ever brought us a meal after our babies, but what I did do was I made a ton of freezer meals before Mark. I made, do you guys remember that? I had a freezer full of meals and it was the best thing. We ate every single one of them over the next few months. It was amazing to have that. So if you don't have people bringing you meals like after you have a baby or after you have surgery or like a really busy season of your life that's coming up and you know about it, start doing freezer meals. Stock up your freezer with stuff that you like that is staples for your family. Chicken pot pie freezer is great. Um, like pasta, like a ZD or like some kind of baked pasta. I did a ton of those. I did macaroni and cheese. I did mashed potatoes. I mean, I did all kinds of stuff and um, enchiladas, stuff like that. And then we ate on it for months. So anyway, that's my little tip if you have a busy season coming on. I do that all the time. But before I had a baby, I really went crazy doing it and it was wonderful. And then it was also great. Like if we had family come in visiting, I already had meals. I didn't feel like they had to cook or I had to cook or we had to go out. I had stuff that I could just stick in the oven. It would be enough for everybody. And um, yeah, it was awesome. So I'm gonna go edit and I'll check in with you guys in a little bit. All right, everybody, I'm getting ready to start dinner. Things are chaos. We just did homework. Um, let me show you this really simple recipe and then I'll kind of show you how I put it together. This is not gonna take long at all. Um, I will also link the recipe I used down below. So you're gonna need a baking dish, you're going to need three total pie crusts because this pan is bigger than a round pie thing. So we're going to kind of shape three of these to make a top and a bottom. You're going to need two to three cups of cubed up chicken. I cooked this yesterday. This is like probably close to three to four cups. So I might not use all of that. You're going to need three cups of milk, a big can of cream of chicken soup, you're going to need, it says 16 ounces of peas and carrots. These are 12 ounces. So I'll probably just use a little over one bag. And then maybe I'll give part of the bag to Lucy because I think she would like these. You're going to need half a teaspoon of onion powder. If I was making this for my friend, I would just leave this out. But since we're not, I'll go ahead and put it in. And then you're going to need a teaspoon of black pepper. <laughs> so you don't have to hear any of that background noise. I'm going to just do this as a voiceover and show you guys how I make this. All right, you guys, to a big bowl, I'm going to empty out a can of, this is like the 22 point something ounce container. It's like the big family size container of cream of chicken. And then I added three cups of milk. I used whole milk, that's just what we usually buy. And I whisked it together really well. Don't drop your whisk in like I did. I always do that. Um, I added a teaspoon of black pepper and then half a teaspoon of um, onion powder. 
and mix that together. I'm gonna add my frozen peas and carrots. Actually, these were kind of partially thawed. Um, the recipe said to, you, to thaw them, but I only had them out for like an, an hour maybe. Um, and I added like half the bag of the other one because you need 16 ounces. And then I started adding my chicken. I thought I was only gonna use part of this bag, but as I started mixing it up, I thought, you know what? I'm not gonna do anything else with this. So I might as well just cook all of it. So I added all the chicken, probably, like I said, three to four cups worth. And we're gonna start working on our pie crust. So we're gonna kind of shape these together to make one, you know, section that will fit this casserole dish. So we're gonna cut one of the pie crust in half. We're gonna kind of piece this together. It does not have to be perfect. This was not perfect at all. I like to take a rolling, like a rolling, like it's actually a glass and just kind of roll it out, kind of piece it together. And then I did spray my dish, put the pie crust down and kind of spread it around and it kind of came up the edges because this um, is going to fill up past, you know, it's, it's very thick, so you want it to go up as high as you can. I dumped in the mixture and kind of made sure it was evenly distributed and like the chicken and all of the stuff was even. And then we're gonna do a top crust. So we're gonna do the exact same thing again, piece it together, roll it out just a little bit. You don't want it to be super thin, just kind of roll it out to fit the size of your pan. And then very carefully, I topped it. This only took a few minutes. I try not to, like I obsess about making it perfect. Just kind of pinch the edges together. And then you're gonna cut a few slits in the top so that it can vent. Doesn't have to be fancy. I didn't even worry about crimping the sides perfect. If I was taking it to someone, I might have, but it was just us, so. I put it in the oven at 425 for about 55 minutes and it came out bubbly. I let it sit for 10 minutes or so before I served it because it was piping hot and it was still really hot when we served it too. But here it is. Here's the serving. I'm going to tell you guys my review next, but um, yeah, here it is. Okay. I'm a little bit annoyed because for the past five or six years, I have been making my homemade chicken pot pie from scratch. Um, it takes a lot of ingredients. It is a lot of steps. I love the recipe. Nate's in the background. <laughs> I love the recipe, but it has like chopping an onion, chopping celery, fresh parsley. You have to add like heavy cream and all of this stuff. Make a roux, all this stuff. That recipe that I just showed you guys, even better than the one I make. Like I found this recipe and I was like, well, this makes a huge pan of it. It'll be so much easier to make for my friends. But then when they needed to move stuff around, I was just gonna go ahead and try it for us. I am so glad I tried this recipe because it will become my go-to recipe for chicken pot pie. There are no words. <laughs> it is so good. I cannot believe it. Now, it is very saucy, like creamy saucy. If you do not like a chicken pot pie to feel like that, like we liked it just like it is, like with the extra, like you can see like when I cut into it, it kind of, ran out like it's not thick is what i'm saying um you could always reduce the milk like maybe add two cups of milk instead of three we liked it like this like it was perfect it tasted delicious it was super creamy i liked it with the peas and carrots normally i do carrots and celery but i like the flavor way better with the peas it was delicious it was so easy and me and david both have both had seconds because we could not stop eating it so Highly recommend that recipe. I did not expect it to be that good. I mean, I knew it'd be good because all the ingredients in it are good, but I was thinking, well, you know, it won't be as good as my chicken pot pie. It was, <laughs> it totally was, it was better. So I still think the other one's, you know, really good and we'll probably still make it because I still think, you know, those ingredients are probably better than like the Campbell soup or whatever, but it was delicious. It was delicious and it made a ton. I would say if you serve that with sides, like a salad or something, we didn't do any of that today. We just did chicken pot pie. Um, but if you have like a salad and maybe something else to go with it, you could probably feed 10 to 12 people. It made a big chicken pot pie. I have like six containers over here with really big servings. Plus me and David ate two servings each tonight. It was that good. I probably will freeze some of this because 
I don't know what else we're gonna do with it. Like, I don't even have room in my fridge for all that it made. Um, you know, it used like three big pie crusts, but it made a bunch of servings and it was delicious. That's, I mean, that's all I, I can't even tell y'all how good it was. It was so good. And I did something different with the chicken. Normally I shred it for chicken pot pie, but for this I wanted it more cubed. So I took chicken breast instead of chicken tenders, frozen chicken breast, and I cooked them in the crock pot all day. I really liked the way the breasts came out better than the tenders. They just were way more, they didn't have that weird tendon in there. Even when I take the tendon out of the chicken tenders, I don't feel like it's as moist and stuff as the breast is. So it turned out good. So I, yesterday I just kind of cubed it up after it came out instead of shredding it. I'm sorry. And I liked that. I just drank a diet Pepsi or a diet Coke the first time in like a month. And <laughs> it's really bothering me. Um, I like the way the cubed came out better than the shredded and all, overall it was just delicious. So that's me having a very big go-to freeze a meal, taking somebody a meal. And I think it was just the perfect day today too because it's rainy and dreary and a homemade chicken pot pie. So good. You know, you got the peas and carrots, you got, it's like, I love chicken pot pie because it is like an all in one dish. You can add a salad to it or something, but it does have the veggies and the chicken and the, um, I don't know who that is the pie crust, all of it. Anyway, I'm gonna stop gushing about it, but it was really that good. And we have so many leftovers. So anyways, um, we've been busy all afternoon doing homework. David's bathing the kids right now. I need to clean up the kitchen. And I know I've blabbed on and on today about Nate's dentist appointment and all that, but I did wanna let you guys know how it went. Nate accidentally broke his Chromebook from school yesterday. He has this Chromebook, the one of a business in our area donated school, all the school supplies to our school, like any school supplies that the kids need. Also Chromebooks and iPads and all kinds of stuff. It's just amazing. Super ATV is amazing. In our area, they have donated so much stuff to the school. Well, Nate dropped his Chromebook and shattered the screen. And if you remember back a few months ago, it was bad news when he broke his Chromebook or we thought he broke his Chromebook and he had like a meltdown at school about it. And anyway, so I messaged his teacher last night and was like, the Chromebook's messed up. And she'd already told me like not to worry if anything ever happened to it because they have insurance on it and stuff. But I knew he could be without it for a few days. And she had told me last night, it may take up to a few weeks to fix it. So pray for us, <laughs> pray for him and us so we can make it through. And so miracle happened today and they were able to fix it today. So he didn't even have to miss one day without it. So he, Nate's just had a great week. I'm telling you, he has had, he is living his best life. He did his homework so good. He's just a happy little fella. Anyway, I am so full y'all. I told David, why did you let me eat more of that? I'm like, I'm sick full. Um, I don't think I'm gonna go work out tonight. I think I'm gonna wait till in the morning, let my food set a little bit more. I'm gonna go see who's texting me. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. If you wanna try the chicken pot pie, I will link the recipe down below, or you can just follow the instructions. I don't even think I'll need a recipe anymore. It was that easy. And um, I also think that the cream of chicken soup from Campbell's is way creamier than the Walmart one. I said it. Not a big fan of it normally, but thinning it out with that milk, it made it so creamy. And I've used the Walmart and the Aldi versions in the past. And I think this turned out way better and like more creamy and less like chemically tasting. So you could also make your own. I've done that before where you make like a little roux, add some milk, and it makes like your own. I don't know what's going on in there. I'm going to sign off. If you like the video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. Please subscribe if you're new and I'll see y'all tomorrow.